Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to start my series on MIUI theming. This episode will be over MIUI theme editor, but the rest of the series will be over more in-depth sections of MIUI theming. I'm doing this because I haven't been able to find any literature or videos over this, so hopefully this can help some of you guys. So first thing, we need to download the theme editor, which you can find in the link in the description. While theme editor is a nice application, it has its limitations, and that's why we have to do other methods to fully theme. But all in all, it does give you a nice starting point to work with. Now when it finishes, we're going to unzip it, and then we're going to go into the folder and open the exe file. Select New, and then put in whatever information you want on the name of your theme and whatever name you want to go by. And then select which version of MIUI you're using. If you happen to be on MIUI 12.5 or 13, I find it that 12 works better than the other ones. MIUI 13 does not seem to stay, while MIUI 12 seems to work on mine which is on MIUI 13. So, yeah, I think just keep that in mind. Now when it first opens, you'll see lock screen, and there will also be home screen. And there's modules and different things you can add in the actual app, but I'm not going to do this. And also keep in mind, if you put a wallpaper in this, you need to have it in JPEG and not PNG, otherwise it'll give you some strange colors. The star section is where I'm really going to focus on, and this is where a lot of the customizations come in. Now you can pick either dark theme or you can pick light theme. I'm going to go with light theme, but I'm going to show you how to add both to your themes before I'm finished with this series. I'm going to start with working on Notification Center. The control center because this is my favorite part of theming but yeah this is how you do it if you click on the picture to the left it will open up the folder where they keep all the resources for it and i just used a free online editor called pixlr you can find it at pixlr.com and i use the events editor but all i'm going to do is change the color on here to the color i want for this theme which is a different color of green than my other theme You can export it to any folder that you want, and you can drag it into Theme Editor. But I like to just go ahead and uh, put it in the Theme folder for it. Now, I'm not going to do a lot of these images right now. I'll probably do them later. But you can do all these images and add them to you however you want. Now back in theme editor, we're going to click this arrow so it creates a folder for us. And that way you don't have to name them like I did a second ago. See there's the image that is brought over, so it creates all that for you. And now we're going to drag the one we created over the ones we want to replace, which in this case is the blue and the green that signals that it's on. And you see it's creating all these in our folder now because this is what's going to replace them. I'm also creating some transparent ones, so we don't see them when they're off. Only the text, because this is kind of what I want, but you can do it whichever way you would like to do it. But now I'm going to focus on color properties, and this will save you a lot of space if you can do it here instead of replacing the images. So I'm going to go ahead and change what I want to change in here, and it kind of tells you what you're changing. Now I'm going to have to delete those images of the dark green one because I decided I wanted it to be green text and stuff like that when it's on instead of green background. One thing to note is that all these categories 
that are selected on the right are in these color properties and so you don't have to go through them and change these separately because they're all in this section but if you were to go over and click on settings or messages and stuff like that it would change the color property xml basically so you have to go through each of those but not each of the ones inside of those main categories i will kind of go over how the coloring works so there's two at the front like two different characters and they determine the opacity um, and the rest are the actual color so that's kind of how it works and ff is 100 percent and zero zero is zero which is opaque don't worry i will go over coloring a lot more in a different part of the series because i do a lot of color changing in the xml file now I'm just going to speed through a big portion of this because it's basically just an hour of me changing colors and you guys kind of get the gist from just the first couple. So I'm going to speed through it so you guys don't have to watch a 45 minute video of me just changing colors. Now it's time to do some other image changing. I'm going to probably do it in settings but you have all these different options of different things you can change. So I'm going to kind of go over that, but I'm going to do a lot more of this in a different episode. Because like I said, the resources on here are limited, especially if you're on MIUI 13 or 12.5. So let's click on the one on the left, the images, and let's open up where they keep all the images. And let's also push it over to that section so now we have a folder for this image that we don't have to create ourselves. Now let's go ahead and bring it over to Pixlr or whatever editor you're using. You can use different icons, you do stuff like that, but I like to bring it over so I have the right size and kind of portion it the way I want to comparatively. Also, something to note, the MIUI logo for settings, if you're on 13, won't work in here. It won't change it, but it will on older versions. So I'll have to show you how to do that later in a different episode. So I'm going to change this little ringtone sound notification thing because I just hate this one. And I'm going to steal the one from my other theme which is the MIUI mix theme. And I'm just going to kind of recolor it for this theme. Now if you look in the actual theme editor, you can find your assets you put in that folder because it reads it all from there. But I'm not going to go through all these in this episode because I usually don't. I usually do it outside of it. And I don't want to spend too much time on this one because this is the one you can find the most material on that you are probably most familiar with if you've searched any. So now I'm just going to export this folder to an MTZ file. And then we're going to start on the second episode. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask and I will try to answer them the best I can.